So here I have the uh, the PDF that's going to be used for my clients. And as you notice, it's a multiple PDF. So if I go through the pages there, I've got uh, several pages, five pages that I want to show my clients. But at the same time, you'll notice also that the quality is kept. So if I zoom up on this, you'll see that it still has a high quality uh, image. And often that's lost uh, when you convert across uh, using PDF. So I'm going to reveal also how you can make sure that you keep the quality uh, when you put together this multiple PDF. So uh, let me show you how this is done by using Photoshop and CS5 along with Adobe Bridge. So let me show you how this works. So I'm in Photoshop CS5 and um, I've made up several uh, pages using uh, various layers. So uh, I'm sure you're familiar if you, if you use Photoshop to see how these uh, layers work. Um, so I've got all these layers and then what I've done literally is I'll just save um, each layer uh, as a PSD, a Photoshop file. Um, some save it as a PDF, but the problem with the PDF is you'll lose the quality uh, on the next part of the process when you make these into multiple pages. So what I would suggest you do is you save each one of these um, as a clear uh, Photoshop file and so then what you'll have is you'll have a multiple amount of files to refer to. So once you've got that, so you've got six uh, PSD files saved each for one of these pages, then simply go to the top here and you notice you can launch a bridge from within Photoshop CS5. So click on this and now bridge will be launched. And uh, if I go to full screen, you can now see that if I go to where I've saved those Photoshop files, you'll see them down below here. So uh, Xanet Brochure 1 PSD, Xanet Brochure 2 PSD. As I said, if these were PDFs, it would work as well. The only reason we're using PSDs is it keeps a higher quality. So if you wanted to go from uh, web to print, you can still do that. And you can also uh, change the order of these by just dragging them across. I can make page three first in place of page two. But uh, in this case, I'm going to produce a six page document. So I'm going to take all these pages and you can now see here they all are at the top as well. And then all you need to do is make sure you're on output. Make sure that rather than go for web gallery, you go for PDF because that's what we're doing. Uh, you can add a template if you wanted, but we're just wanting literally this to become a six page PDF. Um, you've got A4, you can change that if you wanted, but again, this is standard. This is where the quality can change though. So if you're doing this for web and for email attachments, 72, t d 72 PPI uh, pixels per inch is fine. If you wanted it to be really high quality, you've got full. And you can do that because you're using the PSDs, as I mentioned, and not the PDFs. Uh, if you go to 300 PPI, this will be really good for print. So just so you can see the quality of uh, how this produces, we'll go for 300 PPI. Uh, you can change all these uh, layouts and so on, but overall, this pretty much stays the same. Uh, we're going to view it afterwards, so that's fine. We can click this or unclick it. And then at the bottom here to save. So let's uh, save it. Let's call it uh, Zanet. Uh, 300 because it's 300 deep uh, PPI and we'll save that and then uh, that'll take a few seconds to save and then once it's generated that to six page uh, PSD or PDF actually uh, then it comes up pops up so let's just get this down to uh, a sensible size fit full page and there you'll now see I've got the six multiple pages that I can send through to a client and because we did it at 300 uh, PPI then you'll notice the quality is pretty good as well. So if I look at the quality of the lettering, it's really high quality. Um, so you can see that really helps um, impress your clients if you're using a higher quality uh, PPI. So I would again suggest that you use that instead of the PDFs that most of the videos out there are currently suggesting you use and in that way you keep the higher quality at the same time. Hopefully that's been useful. Uh, any questions or if this doesn't work for you then please put them in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe because I'm always making new videos. I've got 20 years of experience as a designer and uh, I've realized that it's nice to share this information with uh, other people around me. So if you uh, want to hear more about my design skills and find out how I can uh, improve your business too, then by all means subscribe 
and I look forward to speaking again soon.